news this morning. Madison police are actively investigating a homicide that happened overnight. This is all happening on Skyline Road near Slaughter Road. Police have been there since 2 this morning. Way 31's Rodnia Ross is live there now where she's been talking with police all morning long. Rodnia. <laughs> Greg, Alyssa, there are still police here on scene. You can see that they're still here conducting their investigations. Now, we do know that they are interviewing people connected to this, trying to piece together their investigations, what they, which they said is now a homicide investigation in the very early stages. What we do know is that they say the call came in sometime around 2 this morning. When they got here, uh, they did find one person with a gunshot wound. That person had to be taken to Huntsville Hospital. We do not know that person's condition. We also know that another person in the home was killed. They have not yet told us exactly how that person died and they're not sure when they're going to actually release that information. I do also know that uh, the coroner has been requested, but I was told that they're not going to release anything from the scene until they finish up their investigation. I also talked to a captain with Madison City Police who told us that they don't have any viable suspects right now, but they do have person of interest and we did talk to him about whether or not there's any type of threat to the community. Go ahead and take a listen to what he had to say. There's no indication that there's a threat to the community at this time, that the uh, incident was related to anything other than the residents and those involved inside. Now, this portion of Skyline Road is still closed down as they are conducting their investigation. That could have an impact on schools because the school bus would not be able to get down this street. So if you have a child that takes the bus on this route, you're going to want to make sure that you prepare for that. Live in Madison, Radnia Ross, Way 31 News.